Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie, the Redheaded Homemaker. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. Seems like we always meet in the kitchen. One day I'm going to take you in my craft room and show you the crafts that I make. But for today we're going to be making hot dog chili. This is a really easy recipe. It comes together really quick and it freezes and stores really well. So please join me while I make the hot dog chili and I'll show you all the steps that I use. Also, if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button and if you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Let's get cooking. All right, I'm gonna show you how I put my, throw my hot dog chili together. I've got a pound of 90-10 hamburger. You can use 80-20. Just beware that if you do that, that you will have to probably drain the grease off of it. But um, I got a good deal at Sam's on my 90-10, so I'm using my 90-10 hamburger. I did a video on how I vacuum seal that too, so check that out. Because that will help you get your freezers full. And i show you a couple tricks on how to utilize your freezer space. Alright, so I got a pound of hamburger in here. I'm going to cut my oven on my stove on medium all right and I also did a video on how I vacuum seal my my onion my Vidalia onions so I got a pack of those I'm gonna put them in there now I have a little trick that I use to get my hamburger really fine when I'm doing hot dog chili or spaghetti sauce my son does not like really big chunks of hamburger so I have to get it really fine so I got a trick if you just put in about a quarter of a cup of water and mush it around and as it's cooking, just keep mushing it. You'll get that fine hot dog chili. I've had a couple people ask me how I get my hot dog chili so fine. Well, this is how I do it. Now, my onions are still a little frozen, but as this hamburger cooks, they'll thaw out. But this is how I get this hot dog chili going. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you when this is all done, I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I add to make it my hot dog chili. While this is cooking, I thought I'd talk with y'all for a little bit. A lot of people ask me about using my cast iron. And I know there's a lot of myths out there that you can't put any kind of tomato based sauces or anything like that in your cast iron. You can use tomato based acidic um, foods in your cast iron. You just don't want to use it for long term. So say if you make spaghetti sauce or like me, I'm going to be making hot dog chili. I don't want to leave it in my cast iron for very long. And the reason of that is it causes pits in your cast iron. But if you're just cooking it and you get it out and you rinse your cast iron out, you won't have any problem. But if you can see how fine my hamburger has come since I added that water. And as it cooks, I'm just going to keep working it. And then I'm going to show you the consistency of it when it gets done and it gets all brown how fine the texture of the hot dog chili is just by adding that water in there and cooking it. So this was a pound of hamburger and a pack of my onions, which was, remember, I did half cup packs. So that's all I've got in this pan and a little bit of water, no oil or anything like that. So we're gonna let this cook and then we'll, I'll come back and show you the rest of it. Alright, our hamburger is done. Our hamburger and onions is all cooked. And you see how fine that texture is on that hamburger? That's how I like my hot dog chili. I don't like big chunks of hamburger. But that water, adding it to it, and keep on working that hot the hamburger around as you're cooking it, it breaks that hamburger down and it's really a fine texture. So let's go ahead and add our ingredients. And let me show you how I do it. So we're going to add... This is about a half a bottle of 20 ounce ketchup. I'm going to get all that in there. If I can get it all out. Alright, and let's stir that up. I went ahead and got another bottle because I know I'm probably going to need more. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut my burner off. So let me just go ahead and add the rest of that ketchup. What are some things y'all like to make in the cast iron? I use my cast iron for everything. 
funny story, my husband actually has a cast iron skillet that was his grandmother's. And the only thing we are allowed to cook in that cast iron skillet is cornbread. So I'm going to have to get him to do a video on his cornbread that he makes in his grandmother's cast iron skillet. All right. So I think I've got enough ketchup in there. You see the consistency? So it was just a little over a half a bottle. That was a 20 ounce bottle, so it was just a little over a half a bottle. Now my next two ingredients, I do measure. Um, you wanna use one tablespoon of chili powder. And I just use the Kroger brand chili powder. I find that I like that one the best. And I find that I like the Hunt's ketchup the best. I tried the Heinz ketchup, I don't like it as good. All right, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of mustard. Now, do it to your own taste. This is what my family likes, this is what I like, so this is how I make it. So a tablespoon of mustard. Get it all in there. Okay, and I wanna mix that up really good. And if you notice, I put a silicone thing on my handle of my cast iron skillet. I didn't want to burn my hand. I have grabbed them before, not had anything on there and burned my hand. All right, that's all stirred up really good. See how that consistency is? It's not too thin and it's not too thick. So it was just a little over a half a bottle of the 20 ounce ketchup, the Hunt's. Now, my secret ingredient, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, is cinnamon. Just ground cinnamon. You don't want a lot. Just a couple of little dashes because you don't want the cinnamon to overpower your chili. I would start with a pinch, stir it in, taste it until you get it to your liking. But that's how I do my hot dog chili. And then this cast iron skillet, I went ahead and cut it off, but this skillet will stay hot for a while. So this right here will stay hot until we get ready to eat. So what we'll probably do is we'll get enough tonight to eat, and then I'm going to go ahead tomorrow, and I'll play, go ahead and put this in the refrigerator tonight, and then tomorrow I'll place some in vacuum seal bags, and I'll pre-freeze it, and then I'll vacuum seal it, and that way this summer if we're having a cookout, I don't have to worry about heating the stove up to make hot dog chili. I can just open up a vacuum seal bag, put it in a bowl, put it in a microwave, heat it up, and it's done. That way I don't have to heat my house up. All right, thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below. I love making videos for y'all. Be check, be looking out for my next ones. I try to post every Sunday, but sometimes life gets in the way and I don't post until Monday or Tuesday. But hit the subscribe button and I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen.